Hey guys, I say hello from the beautiful and today sunny city of Frankfurt, the heart of the European Union. I'm here today to attend the first annual shareholder meeting of the German family insurance after their IPO last December. Because Katja, the CFO of our house, used the IPO to buy some shares. So she sent me here to find out three questions. First, how are they actually growing? Second, how do they manage growth? And third, how does the future look like? During the meeting, I also asked other investors why they put money in the company and uh, one was actually so kind to share a few words. So let's hear what he has to say. This company will become more and more worth. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, this is so interesting and I think that uh, the, the financial community uh, hasn't understood this. So we are early, early movers. That's a, <laughs> absolutely. I also asked the chairman of the advisory board about his two cents. I love this company because this is a real alternative to everything I have seen before. I had worked for more than 30 years as a consultant for insurance and reinsurance companies. I think that Deutsche Familienversicherung has been able to really prove that they are an insurtech. And I think that is only a question of time yeah. up until they roll up the German and probably the European market as well. Okay. It was a pleasure. So the first question was, did they actually grow? And I have to say, they presented some really impressive numbers. In Germany last year, the average insurer grew 1.7% in premium and German family insurance grew by 30%. So this is then, is it 10 times more, 20 times? It's like a lot more than average. And if you compare the first quarter 2018 with the first quarter 2019, you have in policies and in premiums a growth of over 200%. I think this is really impressive because acquiring new users, acquiring new customers for a lot of insurance and insurtech companies is actually quite a difficult task. So that was really impressive. In my opinion, what underlines the special situation here in the Reuterweg in Frankfurt is What's really interesting that this company with only 112 employees is able in their core market, the supplementary health insurance, to conquer a large market share in new business and has the potential to become one of the five top players here, only leaving Allianz, AXA, RNV and Ergo in front of them. And all these companies have 10,000 of employees. Question number two. At the Connected Insurance in London, the CEO, Dr. Stefan Knoll, showed one slide that I think has the potential to let the insurance industry explode. Why? He showed that in the insurance industry, it's possible to detach the growth in revenue from the growth of employees. So what he showed a few years ago, they grew always parallelly in the number of employees and the revenue and at some point due to the implementation of a new IT system and restructure and reorganizing a lot of parts of the company were able to detach it. So they're growing exponentially in customers and at the same time the number of employees doesn't. And in addition, if you calculate the amount of revenue and the amount of policies per employee, um, and you calculate this also for the large insurance companies, you will see that there are 10,000, if not 100,000, or millions of jobs in the insurance industry at stake. With this formula, managing growth seems to me very efficient. Number three, how does the future look like? So how does the future look like? I don't know, I'm not Nostradamus, but I think there are two things that are very exciting. First time I heard management seriously talk about internationalization. I think that's very, very exciting to hear, to see if their system and philosophy is able to be transferred to another country. Um, I think that's really exciting and I'm curious which country it's going to be. The second thing that really excited me is that they're thinking about um, distributing their um, homegrown, own development, real-time, event-based insurance core system also to other insurers. This looks a lot like a tech company from my view. And to summarize, we saw significant post-IPO growth. I see a highly efficient organization with only a very few highly trained, highly skilled employees and tries to attempt to significantly expand the value chain into other countries 
and into um, selling also their insurance course system. So that's really exciting. To sum up, this annual shareholder meeting, you had um, several dozens of shareholders at present. I'm really curious to see uh, what we are going to see in five or 10 years and at which point we are going to see foreign investors. So if you made it to here, it means you really like the video. It would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button down here or sign up for our newsletter so we can give you all the hottest newest trends we scout around the world for free even sooner.